Welcome back folks. So in this video we're going to give you a tour of the completed roof uh, project that we were doing on this single wide mobile home. And uh, if you haven't seen uh, some of the other videos on this on this particular roof project, uh, we've, we've got some that show it in, in process. But uh, today's video is just sort of to give you a final look at how it uh, how it turned out here. So we've had this uh, we've had this actually had this roof completed for a, a bit here, and just getting around to uh, putting the video up on it now. So we started off uh, with a roof here that had no overhangs on it, which is uh, quite something you see quite often on uh, mobile homes. And we uh, we put we put an overhang on it all the way around. Uh, originally, it just had the overhang on at the front. So we've ended up with a 14-inch overhang. And we put these uh, eight inch fascias on. So kind of the next process here is going to be to get the soffits installed, get ready to apply siding. So here you can just see down this down this side here how we've got the the overhang all the way around. So I'll just give you a walk around the, the front here. Far side. So we, the main reason we did this, uh, the uh, overhangs, was to change the look of the home and to, and to give it more of a residential, like a house look. Uh, it was very inexpensive to to add the overhang. Uh, we were looking at uh, about five hundred dollars in materials for that, but you can see how it, how it really kind of changes the looks of things here. So we're in the process of doing uh, windows and exterior door units, so we'll, we'll do another video on that to kind of give you an idea of what, what we're doing with that. But here's a little glimpse of it here in this video. And so this roof over the uh, living room windows there, that's, that's going to be a, uh, a feature here. And so this is basically, uh, I call it a pavilion roof. I'm not sure the correct term for it, for it, but it's you know sort of a contemporary style kind of a kind of a look. Okay, I'll just come down the stairs and give give you an angle from the lower part here. So you can see before, like like I said before, this was the, just the overhang on the front there, and we've created this overhang now all the way around. Okay, so I'll take you up on top now and uh, and show you what it looks like up on top. Okay, so here we are up on the top of the roof. And this is the completed roof. I'll just give you a, a walk around here. So here you can see the uh, this little pavilion roof that goes out over the the living room there. And it's a little little architectural feature. And you can see here how we've done these little winglets. And you can see the one at the other end there. So the those winglets are going to become. Uh, cover the ends of the eaves troughs when they go on so we'll be ultimately putting on a fascia gutter to finish uh, to finish off the fascias in this area and over the in the overhang over the two big windows uh, we're going to put some recessed lighting so I'll just give you a little walk around up here just show you what a completed roof looks like This is the last time we're going to be up here, folks. So on this roof, we've got 13 uh, penetrations through the roof for various devices. And for those of you that may not be familiar with what's, what's up on a roof, um, 
I'll just kind of explain to you what we've got here. So right along the the top here, you can see where we have these uh, these roof vents. So the purpose of these, we've got five of them all along the way there. So the purpose of these roof vents is to um, ventilate the attic space. And this gets the uh, warm, moist air out of the attic. It helps to cool the attic in the, in the summertime and it helps to prevent condensation in the wintertime. So five of those. And then the, this here, this is a plumbing vent. And so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five of those. So, so basically what these are for is this, uh, this uh, ventilates the plumbing system. So you're gonna find these near the bathrooms and the kitchen. And what this does is it allows the, uh, when the water is going down the drain, it, it allows air to be drawn in behind the, uh, the wastewater going out and so that gives you a good smooth flow of, of, of water to, uh, you know draining it gets rid of that glug 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 so if you have uh, a sink or a tub or something that's running slow or going glug 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 a good chance that these things may be may be uh, plugged uh, then you have to clean them out so this particular one if you look inside here uh, well this is a this one is three inches all the way down what they often do is they will have a, an inch and a half or a two inch vent and this one here I don't know if you can see it in there but the, it reduces down uh, to a smaller pipe so they have the larger pipe on the top to uh, allow for accumulation of frost in the winter time so that it doesn't get plugged up with frost it also uh, serves to vent uh, exhaust gases out uh, like uh, sewer gases so they don't enter your home the sewer gases any of the sewer gases that come back up the system will go up through that vent and then of course we have our our chimney for our furnace technical term is called it's called a vent chimney is kind of a thing for a wood burning device and then what we have here we've got two bathrooms so we have two of these fans and so the other one is up up at the front there but the way the way this is uh, works is the exhaust fan in the bathroom is connected to this uh, outlet here inside there there's a damper and a screen to keep keep varmints out but there's a damper in there that closes down when you turn on the fan then it pushes the damper up to allow the the air to exhaust out of the room So this is uh, a fiberglass laminate uh, shingle. It's an architectural shingle that we've used here. And here we can show you how the, the fascia came together here on this little raised part of the roof. So underneath that fascia we've got step flashing. We also have our ice and water shield that we wrapped up underneath the wall down there to keep it dry. And here you can see our ridge cap shingles. That's that row of shingles right across the, the top of the shingles. That's called a ridge cap. So there you go, folks. That's the finished roof. That's what it looks like up here now. So we're all closed in, ready for the bad weather to come, which is, which is uh, not going to be too far away. And uh, we're working on the windows and exterior door units now. So that's uh, kind of going to be what's up next. So thanks for watching, folks. And we'll see you on the next video.